Well, hello there. My name is Mark Miles, and I love helping trainers, presenters, workshop facilitators really take their results to the next level. And in today's video, we're going to go a little bit of a teaching moment, a little bit of a linguistic moment, a little bit of an oral communications moment. Let's chat about the similar words. Let's chat about the ums and the ahs that occasionally fall out of our mouths as we are delivering our content, delivering our training workshop, whatever it may be. And it is an area that a lot of people really struggle in when they first start out or even when they've been presenting for a long time because it's just that they've never made the decision to actually get that habit out of their, I guess, delivery style, so to speak. So ums... Uh, uh, don't know what I'm going to say next. The filler words happen for a couple of reasons. One, I'm uncertain what I'm going to say next, and I'm anxious, I'm nervous, and I'm trying to create time for myself to think. Another one is just a lack of intentionality behind what we're actually going to say and a deliberate conscious effort around what points are we going to make what are we going to say? How are we going to say it? Okay. So be aware that a lot of them, though, are very unconscious. We don't actually ever hear ourselves using the filler words. And a lot of the time, the audience will pick up your filler words, but you won't. And that's the interesting thing about it with filler words. It's often that we are tone deaf to the filler words that we actually use ourselves. And as a result, we could go for many years training and presenting. We don't even hear the filler words we use. So in this video, I just want to give you some tips on how you can use a lot less filler words and get them out of your repertoire, so to speak. So grab a pen, get ready to write. So the first one I highly recommend that you do is make the decision. Make the decision to reduce the amount of filler words that you use because you know that it's actually detracting from your professional approach, all right? And it's actually maybe even irritating your audience if you are using it excessively. So just make the decision. Number two is listen to yourself. Go up and listen to one of your videos, one of your presentations, one of your everything and anything and start to hear how many times are filler words coming out of your mouth, the ums and ahs, make a note of it. And in the past, in a video I've done many, many years ago, someone actually counted and said I had over 28 times I used the word arm. And I'm like, oh, my God. But it was a revelationary moment, revolutionary, whatever we want to call it. But number one, made the decision. Number two, record yourself. So you get conscious around it. Number three, get comfortable with silence. Many times presenters and trainers have the urge to fill in the silence and they're very uncomfortable with silence in a room. Yet the more comfortable you are with silence, the more you're actually going to come across as somebody that can own the room and be even the credible expert. Because an expert is happy to put their ideas out there and just let it sit. And that's okay. Get comfortable with silence. Next thing I want to suggest to you is get comfortable speaking in sentences and creating a pause in between your sentences. So I will often say to people, if they have a habit of speaking very quickly all of the time, I'll give them the tip of count one, two, three before their next sentence. And when you actually get conscious around that, get conscious of using your pace as your weapon of engagement or your tool to really hook an audience, you're going to find that you're a lot more deliberate with what you say and the filler words will happen a lot less and less and less over time. So just to recap, number one, make the decision. Make the decision that you are going to reduce your filler words. Number two, record yourself. Get conscious of how many filler words actually come out of your mouth. Number three, get comfortable with silence. And last of all, be even more deliberate with your pace. And start to get conscious of the pauses in between your sentences. And you're going to find that over time, your diet delivery and how you come across and the impact that you have is going to be so much bigger 
because you're not fumbling your words, you're not uncertain about what you're saying and all of that. And you're not starting out and going, um, uh, um. Be composed. Be comfortable in your own space and be comfortable in the silence because it will make a massive difference in how you come across as a presenter and trainer. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and get the message out there. And don't forget to always click that subscribe button to make sure that you are um, keeping up to date with these videos as they come out. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you on the next one.